Hey everyone, my name is Jason Smith. I am host of the Bridge to China podcast. In this episode of Keywords to Understand China, I'm going to help you understand the concept of high quality development. China is entering a new phase of its economic development, and it is moving away from growing fast to having higher quality. High quality development aims to transform China's economy through environmental stewardship, technological innovation, and social equity. Everyone in the world has noticed that China's economy is in a transformative period. Everyone knows about China's economic miracle, where China's economy grew at 9.5% average over the, those 40 years. And China has become one of the wealthiest nations as in a total proportion in the world, while the rest of the world grew at an average of 2.9%. Pursuing speed alone to grow China's economy is not enough. China needs to advance its technological prowess through innovation in this new phase of China's economic development. The international environment is very competitive and China is enabling its people to be more competitive by increasing the quality of life for daily people here to achieve the Chinese dream. You know, I'm really fascinated with China's space program. An American, growing up in the 1980s, I was fascinated with space and NASA. But coming here to China, you also have a very innovative space program now. China has its own space station, the Tiangong Space Station, which is actually more advanced than the ISS, the International Space Station, which is due to retire. China's space station has more advanced solar arrays, more advanced oxygen recirculation. But it's not just that. China has also done things in space that no other nation has ever done. For example, China landed a rover on the far side of the moon, something no other nation has ever done. And then it actually scooped up lunar regolith and brought it back here to Earth. And I went to the National Museum here in Beijing, where they actually have a sample of lunar regolith. And so millions of Chinese people and us foreigners who visit the museum can walk up and stand in a small presence of the moon here on Earth. And that is thanks to Chinese technology and innovation. And according to the Chinese National Bureau of Statistics, education for the average Chinese person has exceeded 11 years. And there are 200 million skilled workers in China's labor force, as well as 60 million highly skilled workers in China. This comprises 26% of the workers. But if you look at the university system and international metrics, according to Nature, Magazine, China now dominates the top 10 universities in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So China's innovation is taking off. It also, China leads in patents in AI technologies and other relevant high quality development technologies. <laughs> 